Hello students, I am Praveen and today we are going to discuss Lenz law. Lenz law is also referred as law of conservation of energy, but a lot of students find it difficult to relate it to the law of conservation of energy. So let's discuss this today. Before discussing Lenz law, let's first recall Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. What is it? It states that whenever there is a change in the magnetic flux associated with coil or with the conductor, an EMF is induced in that coil or in that conductor. This change in the flux can be due to increase in the magnetic flux, it can be due to decrease in the magnetic flux, or it can be due to motion of conductor or coil in the magnetic field. The mathematical expression for Faraday's law is EMF is equal to minus n d phi by dt. n in this equation stands for number of turns in the coil or number of conductors whereas d phi by dt is rate of change of magnetic flux with respect to time. The negative sign in this equation is explained by Lenz law. So let's discuss Lenz law now. What is it? It states that whenever an EMF is induced in the coil or in the conductor, it acts in such a direction that it always opposes the cause behind that induced EMF. So if EMF is induced due to increase in the magnetic flux, induced EMF will act in such a way that it opposes that increase in the magnetic flux. So it tries to maintain the same magnetic flux as before. If EMF is induced due to decrease in the magnetic flux, the induced EMF will act in such a way that it tries to increase that magnetic flux so that the same magnetic flux is maintained as before. And finally, if an EMF is induced due to motion of the conductor in the magnetic field, then induced EMF will produce a magnetic force which will oppose the motion of that conductor in the magnetic field. Now, let's discuss Lenz law with an interesting example. So, this is FET simulation for Faraday's law of electromagnetic induction. What we have here is a bar magnet which can rotate. There is a coil and it is connected to a bulb. You can also see there is a compass over here which can be used to detect the direction of magnetic field. Now when we start this water tap, you can see this bar magnet starts rotating. Now as it rotates, the direction of the magnetic field will keep on changing and because of that change an EMF will be induced in this coil. Now assume the ideal situation where there are no external forces acting on this bar magnet, no friction, no gravity. So as per Newton's first law of motion, if there are no external forces acting on the system, system will continue its state of rest or state of motion. So in that case, if we supply some energy to this bar magnet, which makes it to rotate, then under the absence, in the absence of external forces, it will keep on rotating forever, right? As it rotates, it will keep on changing the direction of magnetic field. And because of that change in the magnetic field, it will keep on inducing an EMF in this coil, right? It will keep on producing electrical energy. So, with the limited supply of energy which we have supplied to this bar magnet, we will keep on getting the infinite amount of energy, we will keep on getting the electrical energy forever. Well, that is not possible because it will be a violation of law of conservation of energy. It says that you, can, you cannot destroy energy, you cannot create energy, you can simply convert it from one form to the other form, right? So what happens here? How will it come to stop? Well. When this bar magnet is rotating as it induces an EMF into this coil, the direction of this induced EMF will such a that will be such a that it will produce a magnetic force. It will produce a force. That force will oppose the motion of this bar magnet. So when we stop supplying the energy, whatever energy we have supplied to this bar magnet, it will be converted into electrical energy and once that is converted the force on force produced by this coil on this bar magnet will stop it 
so unless we supply some more energy to this bar magnet it will not rotate now it will stop and that's how it will be inconsistent with law of conservation of energy you will not have any energy produced unless and until you supply some external energy to this bar magnet that's how lens law works that's how lens law is related to the law of conservation of energy